Number 1 Newgrange Newgrange dates from 3200 BC, before the Egyptian pyramids were built. This circular mound has a diameter of 80 meters and is ringed by 97 curbstones, the most decorative of which is the astonishing entrance stone etched with spirals. Number 2 Nauth At Nauth there's a large mound, 95 meter across at its widest point, encircled by 18 smaller satellite mounds. The entrances to the tombs at Nauth have marvelous stone settings made with granite and quartz. That main mound has an eastern and western tomb and is traced by 127 curbstones, many of which have mysterious spirals and lozenges. Number 3 Douth The final monument to visit at Bru Na Boyne is this passage tomb as old as 4,500 years, and the second oldest on the site after Newgrange. Douth isn't as famous as its neighbors, and you can access the site directly from the road instead of joining tours via the visitor center like at Newgrange and Nauth. Number 4 Highlands Gallery After the Franciscans departed Drogheda in 2000 following a 760-year stay in the town, they donated their church to the municipality. The northeast of Ireland had been in need of a cultural space, and the church and part of its friary were remodeled into an airy, open-plan gallery that opened in 2006. Number 5 Battle of the Boyne Visitor Center A momentous event in Irish and British history was played out less than 10 minutes west of Drogheda's town center in 1690. The Battle of the Boyne was fought across the Boyne River between the forces loyal to the deposed Catholic King James II and the Protestant Dutch, Prince William of Orange. In terms of numbers, more than 60,000 men deployed, it was the largest battle ever fought on Irish soil. Number 6 St. Peter's Church Originating at the end of the 18th century, St. Peter's Church is recognized by its resplendent French Gothic facade, which took shape a century later in 1884. This was constructed from local limestone and has a soaring bell tower and a high gable above a stunning rose window. Number 7 Street Lawrence Gate Controlling the eastern entrance to the town, St. Lawrence Gate is the most striking reminder of the walls that once enveloped Drada. St. Lawrence Gate wasn't in fact an entrance to the town in its own right, as it was a barbican, an outwork defending a gate that has long since disappeared. Number 8 Magdalene Tower In a prominent position in the north of Drada is the last remaining fragment of a Dominican friary dating from the 13th century. The tower, complete with an ogival arch, window traceries and merlins, is from 14th century. Hope you like this video. For more videos please subscribe to our channel.